everyone. I just thought I'd um, do another quick update for you. This would be update number 10. Um, the reason I'm doing this one is because, as I've said in the whole of these, um, this build, this is for the novice builder, not the experienced. So if you're an experienced builder and watching this, then you obviously know what I'm going to tell you. But this I'm specifically doing for those people that have never built a 1 in 7 2 pirate ship and want to have a go at it and do all the rigging and stuff. But this little update <clears throat> has to point something out that Revel have got wrong. Which, if you try to force these, these little pieces in, they're not going to go. So, the first thing you need to do is you paint these and then paint all these. But then, if you look closely here, you see where the outcut, the, the outcut is there. And you see to each side, there is a, it's like a, it's like a, a, an oval shaped hole. Well, at the side of that, just here, let me get my tweezers. Just here and here is bits of plastic. If you try to fit those into that as it is, they're not going to go. And you're going to go everywhere and then you're going to struggle. So you need to trim off this and this to make that bigger. When you've done that, these here will just slip in nicely all the way along. So there you are, a nice little tip on an update. Now, while we're at it, uh, we're going to move on to doing the front. So your first job is to put this together and paint it. Here, if you're wondering if I've painted this, I haven't. The, the, the mast is painted, but these inlets here, all that is, is a piece of cotton tied around and super glued, and it looks like it's painted. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, an, it's an illusion, but it's better than trying to do it with your paintbrush, and it's better than trying to do it. Oh, I think it's coming focus. Will it come in focus? It's better than trying to do it by hand. So when you've done that, you then need to feed this through all this um, cotton, which is this one. So you go from the bottom. All I did was super glue it on the bottom there, feed it through. I didn't even use the needle. I just used my hands. Feed it through around, around, around. It's monotonous and you need quite a bit of it to make it. And then every time you do so many so often, you fade in some super glue so it sticks and carry on. Then you have a level roping. And then in the middle, you tie it, you do exactly the same, but you go that way around. Then I went over it with the tar black to give it that little bit of a ropey darkness about it. But you can do it however you want. The swan is, that's a glazed orange. That's just a black strip done with a paintbrush. And this is a glazed white. But you can do yours if you want to. So when you've fitted this and done this piece here, you then need to fit these two pieces. They go from here to here. After you've done that, that's on both sides. And after you've done that, you then fit these two pieces. Both sides. Then you fit this piece, which goes in between these two pieces at an angle like so. Here. And then you fit these two pieces each side. When you've done that, you fit the swan and his feet rest nicely onto this either side. So there we are, a little update 
for you. And uh, when we come back, we'll continue. Uh, I've done this so I could do this update. Bryce, if you're ahead of me, you should be ahead of me now because you should have all these done. I've done the other side, but I've not completed this side yet. Because I wanted to get this done so I could point out which parts to fit first and give you this update about these. So there you go. And I'll see you on the next update. Bye for now.